Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. I made them doing a one sheet wonder. Um, I used a half a sheet for this project. Uh, and I was inspired by Ruth at Artful Stamping with Ruth. She does the greatest one sheet wonders. Let's get started and see how what we can come up with. Today I'm just going to be using a quarter sheet um, because I don't want to do a whole nother one, but I wanted to show you how I made these cards. I also made some other ones with it. Let's see. I'll show you a couple others that I made as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use a qu um, quarter sheet of the Whisper White to do my um, stamping on. I have two pieces of um, Pacific Point which is two and a quarter by five and a half and then this will get cut in half and get mounted on top of there. And then I have two card bases which are um, five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. So let's get started here. See if I can remember sort of what I did because I did do this a little bit ago. There's quite a bit of stamps involved. I'm using Papa Petals mostly. I'm using this one, these ones. I'm using this one here. I may use this one. I'm not sure. I did in that one along the bottom, but I might not use it this time. I'm using this one and this one. Then from Inspiring Iris, I pulled in this one here because I needed a smaller leaf. Okay, and then I'm using this background. And this sentiment is from Daisy Lane. So I'm using Daisy Lane, Papa Petals, Inspiring Iris, and Very Versailles. I also, for this card, I used my Stamparatus so I could get the spacing even. So I'll probably bring that in. For the inks, I have Old Olive, Pear Pizzazz, Coastal Cabana, Pacific Point, and Smoky Slate. And then I have a couple of masks that I made from posted notes. I just stamped the flower and then cut them out. So let's get started here. I'm going to start, I believe, with the flower first. And. Pacific Point ink. Okay, and then I just stamp this a couple times. I stamped it and then I masked it. This goes that way. And I stamped the off without re-inking it a couple of times around it. Okay, now I'm going to re-ink it. I'm going to stamp again over here. And this is going to be a little bit different. I think I'm stamping these higher than the other one, but I think it'll work. Then I'm going to come in with, I think I'm going to do this leaf next, and Pear Pizzazz Ink. I'm going to stamp some of these leaves down in this bottom area. Do I want to move my mask? Again, I'm stamping and then stamping up, you know, without re-inking. This down here. Okay. 
Now Ruth does this so effortlessly. She, she makes the most gorgeous things. Now I do want a couple up in here. Let's put this up there. Stuff overlaps, that's all right. Okay, now I'm going to come in with um, let's come in with the old olive. And this ferny one. Add some of those up in here. And again, I'm stamping and not re-inking. I'm going to come in with this little one here. I don't know if you can see what it is. And I'm going to add some up in here. Oops, just stuck my finger in it. these little leaves the coastal and the Pacific point again and I'm going to fill in some of these little white areas with these leaves just kind of fits nicely within the thing there around the flower some of this down here instead of the green I had on the other one and every one's going to be different okay, and I'm going to come in with the coastal cabana if I can get it opened and these three little flowers I'm gonna stamp a few of those around whoops all right I had them cut apart so one didn't stay stuck on my block. Let me bring up a little block here. I like that. Add one down up in here. Them. This one I think I'm going to stamp it off first though. There we go. Fill in a little bit of spaces. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with the 
from the very Versailles one. On the gray ink. Smoky Sleep. I add a little bit of text to it. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half, right straight down the middle, I'll wash my stamps and I'm going to, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I got those cut apart. And I'm going to glue them onto these uh, Pacific Point two and a quarter by five and a half inch pieces, so these are two by five and a quarter. like my originals better, but you can never stamp them the same twice. It just doesn't work. Alright, let's bring in our card bases. And one's going to get glued over here, and I'm just going to stamp the sentiment over on this side. So let me go ahead and do that. And I used the old olive. where we want it. Ink it up. I'm going to practice on my paper to make sure my stamp is fairly straight. Stamp that down here at the bottom. Very nice. And then I'm going to glue this right to my card base. I'm going to leave a oh, quarter of an inch or so on this side. You could add a ribbon or something if you wanted to. So there's our first card. This is the one I did previously. I think I left more white space up here at the top because I started down lower. Oh. Okay, now the next one, oops, we're going to bring in our card base. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do this without the uh, Stamparatus. I may end up reverting to getting it, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to start out here at that third quadrant like I normally do. Stamp. Without re-inking, move down and stamp again. Without re-inking, move down and stamp a third time. Okay, then I'm going to stamp off. I'm going to go above this and stamp. And then without re-inking, I'm just going to move up and continue to stamp. And then I'm going to adhere this one on with dimensionals. I'm going to use 
use this little edges. Take the backing off. Hear this right there. There we go. There's that one. So there's the carts side by side. Here's the ones I did the other ones. And then here's a couple of alternatives. I just put it on the other side for this one. On this one, I added a bunch of um, these are paper pumpkin elements that I had and stamp the sentiment onto a circle. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.